Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Hello, my name is Monique. I am a life coach and I teach women how to take responsibility for their happiness, success, and freedom. So today I just wanted to talk to you about um, self-care, how important it is to take care of yourself. Oftentimes, especially women, we are notorious for always being there, trying to take care of everyone else, um, pouring into everyone else. And we are taught to be sacrificial lambs to sacrifice ourselves, our health, our mental health, our physical health, our spiritual health in order to be there for others. And if you look back on your life or if you look at situations where the people who you have sacrificed for the most, the people who you want to be there for the most, the people who you have literally, you know, unalive your spiritual health for, those are the most ungrateful people. So in this season, you know, I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to put yourself as a priority. I want you to fill up your cup and give from your overflow. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know where we get this notion that us taking care of ourselves is selfish. Us taking care of ourselves is neglecting our children. Us taking care of ourselves is neglecting our job, neglecting our spouses. And it's the opposite. If we don't take care of ourselves, we can't be good spouses. We can't be good mothers. We can't be good, good coworkers. We can't be good siblings. That's where all of this dysfunction is coming from, you know, in the world because people are not putting themselves first. They are not taking care of themselves. I mean, self-care. This doesn't mean that you can't go and be a blessing to the homeless. This doesn't mean that you can't be a blessing to your family. This don't mean that you can't be a financial blessing to those in need. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about making sure that you are taken care of spiritually, mentally, and physically so you can be the dynamic person that God is calling you to be. So when you enter, to, and enter into a room, people can feel your energy. Your energy exudes healing. Your energy exudes blessings. Your energy exudes power. Your energy exudes, oh, this lady has something. This man has something. And it's self-care. That's what it is. It's self-care. Because when you take care of yourself, you can tap into your spirit. You have a healthy spirit. Things don't bother you. People can't get underneath your skin. You know how to set boundaries. The most, most of us are suffering right now because we don't know how to take care of ourselves. And when you don't know how to take care of yourselves, you lack boundaries. Your boundaries are deficient. So I've made this video, made this message for you to take care of yourself, prioritize self-care so you can look good, so you can feel good. Look good, feel good. And you're going to give good. When you feel good and look good, oh, you best believe you're giving, you blessing others is going to 10x. Because that's where your blessing comes from. When you give to others, you're going to 10x on that. It's going to be in your heart to give, to help. And that's where your blessing comes from. When you, when you give to people, when you give not only to people, when you give to the poor, when you set out on a mission to make sure you're doing your part on this earth, you best believe it's only up from there. Any successful person that you know that's successful on the inside and the outside, their spirit is successful. The key to them being successful is that they are givers. They are givers. They look out for others. They give to the poor. They have nonprofit organizations. They donate to nonprofit organizations that are doing right with the money. So take care of yourself because when you take care of yourself, you don't have a problem taking care of others. A donation won't be a problem. You sh you 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 giving out money won't be a problem. You volunteering your service won't be a problem because you know you're healthy so you can give without complaining. You can give without feeling like you're giving everything. You can give from your overflow. Be blessed.